Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I have a quick and simple tutorial to show you guys today. And basically what we're doing is getting the Alexa voice assistant on our computers. Now surprisingly, I had no idea that this was even a thing until recently. Basically, you don't even need to buy an Amazon Echo. As long as you have a computer with a microphone, you can actually just use Alexa for free. And I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to set it up. Let's get started. Okay guys, so here I am on my desktop computer. You can do this with laptops or desktop computers, doesn't matter. As long as you're running Windows 10, you're good to go. And I'm on Amazon's website here, and I have this page where you can download the Alexa voice assistant for your Windows 10 computer. I'll just leave a link in the description to make it easier for you guys. Otherwise, you could just go to the Amazon search bar and type in Alexa for Windows 10 and do it that way. But if you're on this page, just click the download now button and it'll redirect you to the Microsoft Store where you can click the button here that says Get and click Open Microsoft Store. Then once you're here, just click on Install. It's about 81 megabytes of a file, so it's not too big. It shouldn't take too long to download. Now that it's done and it's installed, just click Launch. All right, and this is the app. So when you first start it up, you're gonna get this and you have to do the setup process, which is pretty easy. So just click on setup and this is where you're gonna log into your Amazon account. If you already use Alexa in your house, just log into the same account that you use. So I'm gonna do that really quick. So once you're signed in, you'll get the terms and conditions. Just click continue. This is where it's gonna ask for your microphone permissions, which it's only gonna use when the app is open. So just click continue and then click yes. And this section here is pretty important. You can decide whether you want to be able to talk to Alexa hands-free without pressing anything. So just speaking out loud, like a normal Amazon Echo. Or you can have it to push to talk, which is what I like and what I'm going to do. Or I just have to click a button when I have a command to say, rather than having my microphone on all the time. So it's your choice. You can do hands-free or push to talk. So the next section here is just some options that you have. The first one is to launch the app as soon as you sign into your computer, which I'm sure a lot of you guys will like. So you never really have to worry about it and you can always just have Alexa at the ready. But for me, I'm just gonna uncheck it and I'm gonna manually start the app whenever I need to tell Alexa to do something. And then these other two options for me are fine. I'm just gonna leave those checked, click finish. Then you get the little pop-up here that's asking for permission to pin Alexa to your taskbar. The taskbar is at the bottom here with all the different apps that you can put down here. And for me, I'm going to click yes, and I'm going to drag Alexa all the way to the left here. So that way it's always in the bottom left corner right where the Windows Cortana voice assistant would be. And I'm basically replacing that with Alexa because I never use the Windows Assistant. So after that page, you're good to go. Now this is what the app looks like and you have this little button down here if you have push to talk on. The cool thing with that is you don't even have to say Alexa. You can just click this button and then say your command. So let me show you guys that real quick. Turn off living room lights. So it's as simple as that. So now whenever I have a command that I want to say, I just launch this app and I click that button and that's it. So as you can see, you pretty much don't need an Amazon Echo if you have a computer in your house with a microphone. You can use any microphone. So if your laptop has one built in, you could use that. You can use one of these desktop microphones or some webcams also have microphones built into them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Real quick before I end this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to uninstall Alexa if you ever decide to. And all you need to do is go to your search in the bottom left corner here, type Alexa, and then you'll have the option here to uninstall. So that's everything you need to know. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a like if you did. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.